Hi there, in this video I'm just going to take you through how to, um, relatively quickly, just to make a base map in ArcGIS Online so other people can use that uh, base map in their, um, in their web maps and for their um, work, Survey123 or, or whatever. But it will make it available as a base map within um, ArcGIS Online, that's the sort of end game. I'm going to, um, let's click on map here, and I'm in, as you can see, I'm in um, uh, ArcGIS Pro, <coughs> and I'm going to call this my uh, base maps. Some. So I've just created a new um, folder, project folder, that's going to sort of contain all this. Now to get cracking with this, um, the way, where you start, the key thing to start with is here, with, under the insert um, tab, you'll see new base map. So go to new base map and you'll see it opens up this, this tab. <coughs> it's empty. It's got an elevation service there, um, surface sort of being used, but I'm, I'm, um, I'm actually not going to use it for my one. Um, I'm not, not looking at any kind of um, terrain work or 3D work or anything. I just want a sort of dumb map image. Um, so I'm creating a very simple base map. So how do I start? Well, I, I actually author the map as you would normally. So let's add some uh, data to the map. I've got some green belt um, local authority data there for the UK. And let's add something else. And I'm going to add some data from um, Historic England. So let's add some battlefields. And let's add some. What's we got? We've got uh, Balkan Gardens. So this is just some um, sort of open data that I've that I've raided. But as you can see, I'm just I can just load in any any any, any sort of information um, that I want. Let's just um, change a bit of symbology here. These parks and I might as well name them. Um, oh, name them um, green. So they're the parks and um, the battlefields. something like that. It's a little red outline for battlefields. Um, Look authorities, I think just a black outline is going to suffice for that. So as you can see, I'm, I'm not going to, uh, I won't fill the colour, I'm not going to go much further along with this because this is just authoring a map. Um, so you just follow your usual practice to, to make a map. We can load lots of other stuff for counties or whatever but for whatever reason this is the um, the map base I want to use it's it's some you know, uh, uh, general data that I always want to be able to access as a base map um, and the point of doing this as well is just so you can use anything as a base map that's that's the point I will actually put on labels for the battlefields that's all fine yeah, actually those defaults are okay. I'm just going to leave the defaults and switch labels on. There you go. So I've actually put um, uh, labels on these battlefields. That's enough for messing about really with that. I don't want to uh, um, take it any um, further and go on forever um, making uh, map edits. Um, and then all, all we need to do now, you see, really, is just to um, we'll set the reference scale to that base map we just made, effectively these these layers. But we'll um, so everything references this this current scale. But we'll um, now share it. So we'll publish this web layer. <coughs> so basically, you make the map, set the reference scale. And publish. So let's do um, my base map um, and we 
Oops, so historic, Oop. historic England data. That's where it's come from. And tags, so base map tag. Uh, I'm going to tile it. Since it's not feature by feature, and we're going to make it available to everyone. And we're going to put it, I've made a folder actually already in Arches Online called My Base Maps, which will be empty, I should think. Yeah, so this is My Base Maps. That's it. So now we can publish. <coughs> so once this is complete, you'll see all the green message as you would in, in normal um, tools. So it all looks good. Now let's um, bring up the. Um, my base maps folder and uh, I just refreshed it and there you have it you see so it's tiled and you can see that icon there it's tiled uh, my new base map if I click on my new base map you can then see you see it's all uh, all there um, if you've opened up, uh, up previously you could say add to add to new map to start a new mapping session um, but uh, I'll go straight in and Open in Map Viewer because I've done this before. So you can see how this is my new base map. So you can see how we've got this um, uh, base map that I created uh, with the um, in with the labels on, which was uh, I did that just to show you really it could be done. Uh, the reference scales kicking in there. Probably needs better sorting, um, but as you can see, we've got this as a reference. So now that is, it's actually you know it is part of the base map. So what you would then do is just add your other layers as normal and, and current as you would. So there's triple S size there, for example. Let's add triple S size sites of uh, scientific interest and. Um, <coughs> And now we've, you know, we're starting to build up a normal web map, but the base map that we did was uh, was one that we created. You can rename it, um, but uh, and, and change visibility and transparency as, as normal. So it is a normal um, base map. You can, of course, swap it out to a, another one uh, and uh, re replace it. One final point. When you're in Arches Pro and you're on a map, so go to the map um, tab, you'll see that um, on the base map here, that one you created. So this is custom one. So when I click, it is now swapped over uh, that base map into my main sort of Arches Pro session. So it's actually listed as a, as a base map in, in the icons. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.